hi guys welcome to my channel and i'm back again today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorites i'm gonna be covering makeup skincare hair care tv shows music the whole nine yards i will also be covering fashion so i've really been loving this revlon color stay foundation i got it in the shade cappuccino and this is for combination oily skin this make this foundation is really really good it does oxidize enjoy using it especially over the summer it's got beautiful coverage it just blends into my skin tone and i absolutely love it plus it's drugstore it's drugstore so the price is right i recently bought the black opal deluxe powder this as well is really good i've been enjoying using it it's good for the skin tone it's a bit on the red side but over summer it tends to go rather when it's hot or if you're in a hot country it really really goes it really mattifies the skin it looks good and this is in the shade deep it says 05 deep uh, this blush this is the sleek blush in shade Sahara this is a beautiful beautiful blush I generally don't tend to wear blush but I've been reaching for it to kind of blend and give that um, smoky eye effect so just just under just by my crease I've been enjoying this a lot sorry I was looking for a highlight that wasn't very powdery that was pigmented and that would look good on my skin tone because you know my skin is all about that melanin richness anyway i find i got myself ColourPop. ColourPop is quite good with regards to price point and their products lately i've been feeling from their liquid lipsticks to their highlighters now and this is k-pop i think this is the shade glow up it's what i'm wearing at the moment and i use this highlighter and i apply it with my finger it just works better with the finger not a brush because it's not quite powdery it is uh um it doesn't say but it's quite it's paralyzed it's par paralyzed forgive my accent but um it's a beautiful beautiful color especially on deep skin tones it's fairly cheap it looks amazing on if you, if you want to get that sun-kissed glow going you can just pat it on your um cheeks with your finger if you want to go for that the sun has potentially snogged my cheeks you can add a powdery um, highlight then for lips i'm sure by now if you've been watching me you know how i feel about lipsticks i'll have to give a major shout out to obviously nyx lingerie liquid lipstick in beauty mark um i love this a lot it's just on point with my skin and then it's summertime you need a vibrant color i don't think you need to buy very many lipsticks i think in this harsh world you only need two lipsticks you need a nude and you definitely need a red and the red of the day of the century of the month of the year is color drain cherry blossom this looks sick on dark skin when i say sick i mean prime i mean main i mean stunning so i know some of you have been asking about the ruby woo situation i love my ruby woo mark but i find it extremely extremely drying i think it's there for my backup so for the longest time i've been battling various numbers of problems with my skin and I just I got fed up of trying many products and I decided to go the natural route so I went into Lush then I explained to the lady what my problems were and she recommended to me the ocean salt this is a face and body scrub uh, lashing of fine sea salt to scrub and clean organic limes to brighten and avocado butter to soften the skin this scrub you guys is the bomb.com i will leave an insert to show you how what me bring my skin back to some level of i don't know to a good level and maybe i should do a skincare routine because there's some other gems that i've been finding they're not bank breaking but this is definitely good if you're not able to get it i can 
link it down below so that you can go and see all the ingredients in the products and maybe uh, try and make your own scrub at home because I know there are a lot of people making their own scrub. I've had good things about the coffee scrub. I've had loads of good, but I, if, I think with skincare, you need to give it some time. And if you get a product or if you try and evaluate what you eat, then I think you'll get results. But the key thing here is patience. To remove my makeup, I have been using the Garnier Masala Cleaning Water. In, in fact, it's there's very little left. This has also been pivotal to my skincare. This is what I remove. I use to remove my makeup. It also says you can use it for sensitive skin. I love it, it is very drugstore, very affordable, and it lasts me ages. So peppermint oil is an essential oil. You can't use it on its own. You need to use it, you need to mix it up with another oil. This one has been mixed with almond oil, I believe. I normally put this with my conditioner and I soak all my hair and it gives you a very nice minty fresh smell. I cannot stress how this has been pivotal in the growth of my hair if you go to your health store just ask them for peppermint oil and they will give it to you then you can go home and mix it with coconut oil almond oil casca oil whichever oil that you're using at the moment but if you're interested in you know raising your hair growth game i strongly 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 recommend this it's fashion i have really 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 been enjoying wearing these sandals i've gotten loads and loads and loads and loads of compliments from this uh, for wearing this i got them back in kenya i believe you can't just you can't get them anywhere but you can be inspired and try something similar in Maasai market that's what they're called they're called Maasai sandals I got them in capital center and a male friend helped me choose it I love them a lot somewhere I got it from next ages ago but I don't think it's on sale at the moment however if you want I can link a few bags that I've spotted that are quite similar or yeah basically this is what I've been enjoying carrying when it comes to food, I've been enjoying this. This is the Encona Original Hot Pepper Sauce. This is the truth. It will raise your food game. I know a friend of mine gave me Scotch Bonnet Sauce from Kenya. That was that, That's for seasoned people, people who can handle heat. So I, find that, I found that too excessive, but this is the right amount of heat. You just pour it in your food, mix it up. As you're eating it, it just coats your mouth with and makes it go numb. It's just beautiful. I strongly recommend this. Nando's. I love this. I love it on my chips. I love it on my salads. I like it on pretty much everything. I know most of you are suffering from the Game of Thrones withdrawals. And you can't cope with the fact that or you're trying to cope with the fact that you have to wait another year and there's been talks about it being delayed so if you're looking for another tv show i got you covered you need to be on top of marco polo it's a tv show on netflix it is the truth i would put it up there with game of thrones they've done a brilliant brilliant job from the costumes cinematography the actors are sick just watch it it's only two seasons to music lately if i'm honest i've been doing it old school i've really been enjoying dmx i'm sure you remember him and if you've never heard of it get on it he is good so that is it guys i hope i put you on something put you onto something that you are looking for or something you fancy trying um, if there's anything that you enjoy, you're enjoying using at the moment or a TV show that you're watching or some music that you're enjoying listening to and you think I might enjoy it, put, leave your comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys very much for watching and um, give the video a little like, of course, and uh, that will make me very happy and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys.